Pierre Poilievre, raises concerns over Prime Minister Trudeau's response to the Israel-Hamas conflict, accusing him of deliberate ambiguity and dividing the nation on the issue. Poilievre emphasizes the Hamas-acknowledged genocide and calls for a principled stance against the terrorist group. Don't miss. What is Pierre Poilievre's criticism of Trudeau and Melanie Jolie regarding the Israel-Hamas war? How does Trudeau allegedly divide Canadians on the issue? What are the key points raised by Poilievre regarding Hamas's genocidal intentions? Hi, CBC again. Um, Melanie Jolie said this morning her statement is her statement and wouldn't elaborate further on whether what's happening in Gaza is a genocide. How adequate is that in terms of clarifying Canada's position? English and French as well, please. Which position? She did not elaborate further. That's all I can give you, I'm afraid. Well, I just I have to figure out which position I'm to comment on because Justin Trudeau has many different positions on the question uh, that you raised. Um, what he's done is very cynical. He's divided the country again. Imagine what he's done is very cynical. He's divided the country again. Expressing concern about the apparent discord arising from the Prime Minister's handling of the Gaza issue implies the belief that leaders in politics should aim to bring the nation together rather than create division. So you see, he gets a block of MPs to go out to mosques and say that Israel has committed a genocide. And then he gets another group of liberal MPs to go to synagogues and say that it's totally outrageous to suggest that Israel has created, it committed a genocide. And he, then he, he sits in the middle of the two and gives incomprehensible statements. Uh, you, would need, you would need a, a linguist with a PhD and a magnifying glass to figure out the garble that comes out of the foreign minister and the prime minister on this question. You would need a linguist with a PhD and a magnifying glass to figure out the garble that comes out of the foreign minister and the prime minister on this question. The importance of clear and direct communication from governmental authorities in Canada. It emphasizes the need for transparency and straightforwardness in conveying information to the public. Because they're deliberately in, uh, giving answers that no one can comprehend. It, he's divided the country on this just like every other issue. He's divided the country on this just like every other issue. We condemn Justin Trudeau for his involvement in exacerbating divisions, not only in Gaza, but also in various other significant issues. This critique is based on the belief that leaders advocating for national unity must actively strive to promote cohesion and solidarity. The reality is there is a genocide being carried out by Hamas. I don't have to accuse Hamas of committing genocide. They admit it. They proudly brag about it. It's in their charter. They have announced that as soon as the conflict ends, if they're still in power, they will relaunch another October 7th style attack with the purpose of eliminating all Jews from the Middle East and they frankly would love to, to eliminate Jews from the rest of the world. Th this is a genocidal, homicidal, sadistic death cult. And everything I have just said are things that Hamas admits to. So it's time for the Prime Minister to grow a backbone, stop trying to divide Canadians based on religion and ethnicity. It's time for the Prime Minister to grow a backbone, stop trying to divide Canadians based on religion and ethnicity endorses Justin Trudeau's firm and principled position, condemning any attempts to exploit religious and ethnic differences for political gain. It portrays this stance as a dedication to overcoming divisions based on personal responsibility, authority, and cultural identity. And take a principled stand in favor of humanity and against the real the real propagators of genocide, who are the Hamas terrorists. Take a principled stand in favor of humanity and against the real propagators of genocide, who are the Hamas terrorists. Advocating an ethical approach, this perspective prioritizes humanity, strongly condemning genocide perpetrators, and actively addressing the dangers of moral absolutism and threats to human rights. Poilievre's critique underscores the need for clarity and principled leadership in addressing the Israel-Hamas conflict. The accusation of Trudeau's divisive tactics prompts a call for unity, 
urging the Prime Minister to take a clear stand against Hamas's admitted genocidal intentions. The public is encouraged to seek a transparent and principled approach to navigate the complexities of the situation. Effective communication holds paramount significance in political discussions, particularly when addressing sensitive topics such as international conflicts. The repercussions of unclear statements on public perception and comprehension cannot be underestimated. Justin Trudeau adeptly critiqued the political schism arising from his handling of the Israeli-Hamas issue. He delved into the ramifications of leaders intentionally polarizing public opinion for political advantage. When broaching accusations of genocide, individuals should be evaluated based on the ethical responsibilities associated with political leadership. Emphasizing the importance of leaders, adopting principled stances rooted in evidence, and considering the potential fallout of disseminating information without clear substantiation is crucial. Exploring perceived threats and employing emotionally charged terms like genocidal, homicidal, sadistic death cult necessitates a careful consideration of public sentiments and perspectives. Justin Trudeau's critique extended to divisive tactics, especially concerning religious and ethnic divisions. He analyzed the adverse effects of leaders exploiting such divisions for political gain, highlighting the potential harm to social cohesion. The content orgas, Justin Trudeau to adopt a principled stance, acknowledging the necessity of leadership grounded in principles and emphasizing the importance of ethical decision making over political expediency. Leaders grapple with a dilemma when navigating complex geopolitical issues, necessitating a discourse on the inherent tension between political and ethical decision making. What do you think? I promote myself and my videos. Hello, I'm Bong Sim, a Canadian resident of Asian descent. During the day, I work as a professional counselor, and at night, I do Uber food delivery. Instead of speaking in my videos, I prefer to express myself through writing. In today's world, speaking the truth can have serious consequences, both for my professional life and personal well-being. That's why I'm choosing to pen down my thoughts and using a platform to share them on my behalf. Some people find my videos uninteresting, too strict, and they even criticize the appearance of the individuals featured, including their tiredness, Asian, or perceived flaws. I understand these concerns, but I genuinely believe in the purpose behind creating these videos. Unfortunately, recent Canadian legislation has resulted in the censorship of free speech and online content. And although Google hasn't explicitly admitted their involvement, I suspect they play a part in it. Despite my efforts to monetize my content on YouTube, I haven't been able to earn any income from it. I've tried three times, and all my attempts were rejected. They turned me down for reasons like lacking creativity, not having a recognizable face, or not having a distinct voice. Nevertheless, I've made several adjustments to my videos, hoping to overcome these challenges. If you share my belief and support what I'm doing, I would genuinely appreciate your backing. 